What up, though, Phil G's, and welcome back to Luke G's Field Review. I am back at it this time, taking obsession, uh, obsession to NBC Sports' latest article. And let me be clear that this article is not a direct attack on the Detroit Lions. But it certainly is an indirect attack on the Detroit Lions. And I'll explain to you what I mean, because this article can be destroyed in a number of ways. So first off, the article is about T's Tabor. And the logist of the article basically is that the NFL combine matters. And so here's what the article say. It's a common reference during the scouting combine to scoff at the idea that anything meaningful can be gleaned from watching players run and jump in shorts and t-shirts. The combine does not matter. The skeptics say, just watch them play. Tease Tabar shows that the combine does matter. Now people, I am going to try to be swift about this and try my best to nullify this ridiculousness, okay? He goes on to say, Tabar, the 2017 Lions second round pick, played and played badly for two years in Detroit and did not make the 53 man roster this year. And Tabor is a fine example of how teams overlook the combine at their peril. On the field at, F at Florida, Tabar was a very good player. He was a two time first team all SEC cornerback. The Lions gushed about how pressed his tape was. But the combine told a very different story. Tabor, 4.62 second 40 yard dash was bad and his 31 inch vertical was even worse. He failed to improve at his Florida Pro Day. That should have been a tip off that Tabor, Tabor just doesn't have the athleticism to be an NFL cornerback. The SEC ain't the NFL. And some players are athletic enough to play in the SEC, but not athletic enough to play in the NFL. The purpose of the combine is not to render film study meaningless. It is simply to identify some players who look good on film against other college kids, but won't be able to hack it. Excuse me. But won't be able to hack it against NFL athletes. Tabor is one of those players. Now here's what my problem is. The article is using him as the latest example of what is wrong with the combine and why it matters. Of all the people you're going to use, you use Detroit Lions tease Tabor, but we're not going to talk about Aaron Curry. We're not going to talk about Jamarcus Russell. We're not going to talk about Ryan Leaf. How many players in the combine have showed up and went off but came to the league and did nothing? We ain't going to talk about Vernon Ghoston, right? How many players had bad combines, went undrafted, and ended up being Hall of Famers? How many players went undrafted and ended up being stellar players? We got one on our team right now, i.e. Snacks Harrison. If you're going to make this article be your standpoint for why the combine matters and film doesn't, then my question would be, why does evidence support that more times than not, those people who show up and become workout warriors don't pan out more so than those who have bad workouts the answer is really simple it's just that some people are not good workout people but they are good football players and that's why film is more important this writer does not understand that the film gives you a better idea of what's going on versus numbers of people running and doing things okay Morris Claiborne and so many others have went on to show that, yeah, we are workout warriors and they just don't pan out. I mean, look at, let's go back to the Green Bay Packers. You, do anybody remember when the Green Bay Packers took that office of alignment? You, I bet you money, if they can go back and do it, they would have took Barry Sanders. But they went with the workout warrior. Oh, he's a can't miss guy. Look what he did. Remember Don Terry Poe? Remember how he came in, uh, workout warrior, and he had a pretty okay career so far. But for the most part, it still didn't prove that he was any better than what you saw out of most of these other players who fell. What I have a problem with is them using Tease Tabar and the Detroit Lions 
it as a, a direct example of why the combine should matter. Let me know what your thoughts are about this because I thought this was absolutely ridiculous and I thought it was absurd and I thought the argument was weak and I also thought that this was just a waste of energy because they didn't have anything else to write about. So let's talk about the Detroit Lions and why T's Tabar is gone. We're not going to talk about how the Green Bay Packers released their second round pick from 2017. Nah, we're just going to talk about T's Tabor. Unbelievable. That's it for now, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell, as well as make sure you go into my description and subscribe to all the DSA members, uh, you know, because Detroit Sports Alliance is where you get your number one source for Detroit uh, sports talk. Um, with that being said, people, don't be no chump. Please, please do your research.